The disfigured remains of a Christian child were found on a playground in Khalik Nagar, Lahore, on Sunday. Forensic examination of the remains has led investigators to believe the child was sodomized, then killed, and his body had been brutally beaten in order to prevent the child from being identified. This is a very, very sad story, and I debated whether to even do a video for the story at all. I mean, a lot of us have children, and to hear this about children truly breaks my heart. But then, I want people in the West to see what happens to Christians at the hand of Muslims in Pakistan. The reason these sorts of crimes take place against Christians is because Christians of Pakistan are a minority. The Muslims know that no one really cares for them and that they are easy victims to be preyed upon. The police have arrested one of the two Muslim suspects and APB is in effect as a national manhunt takes place to arrest the second Muslim criminal. Around noon on Thursday, March 9th, Adan Masi left his home to buy some sweets from a shop on his street, but he never returned home. At the time, his parents were at work, but his older brother, Danish Masi, who is 14 years old, became concerned with his little brother not coming back right away, as normally this trip would take a few minutes, but Adan had been gone for over 20 minutes. Danish went to the shop and asked the shopkeeper if his brother had come to the shop at all. The shopkeeper knew all of the neighborhood children and he told Danish that Adan had not visited his shop that day. Danish searched the streets and he went to check with his neighbors for about an hour. After Danish couldn't find him, he thought that Adan may be playing with his friends and that he will come home later. At the time, Danish was also looking after his grandfather who is 70 and his younger brother Isaac who is 6 and his little sister Dua and she's 3. At 6 p.m., his parents, George Mussey and Sonia Bibi, arrived from Nishad's stitching factory where they work as laborers. Mr. Mussey noticed that Adan was missing and immediately asked Dinesh where his brother was. Dinesh explained to his dad that Adan had been missing since 12 p.m., which got both parents into a panic. George and Sonia frantically knocked on the homes of neighbors and friends and many people began searching for Adan. After an hour of searching, Mr. Mussey and his wife went to Nishtar Colony Police Station to report their son missing, while Dinesh cared for the younger children. For the next two days, the parents continually called and visited neighbors, relatives and friends in the area and asked if anyone knew the whereabouts of their son. Sonia spoke with British Asian Christian Association to explain the devastation she felt when she learned her son was missing. She said, My heart stopped when Dinesh told me about his brother being missing. I did not know what to do. I rushed out into the streets and asked my neighbors and the shopkeeper if they knew where my Adan could be, but nobody gave me any clue. I visited the police station numerous times wanting to know of any progress towards finding my son, but for two days they also had no clue. I kept praying and asking pastors to pray for the safety of my child. As you can see, after this paragraph, there is an image of what the little boy's body looked like after these disgusting Muslims were done. I am not going to scroll down anymore. I understand forgiveness, but I feel so much anger towards these two criminals for doing this to an innocent child that doesn't understand what was happening to him and why. These two Muslims need to be punished very severely under Pakistani law. So, on Sunday at 2 p.m., police called and informed Mr. Mussey that the remains of a body had been found at the local recreation park. Two young children found the decaying carcass of Adan while playing cricket and their parents had informed the police. Mr. Mussey was asked to attend with his wife to identify the remains. Mr. Mussey was able to recognize Adan from what remained of his facial features and the clothes he was wearing. Mr. Mussey spoke with British Asian Christian Association and described the moment they discovered their child had been killed. He said, My wife and I felt immediate surge of pain and revulsion. We began to cry. We beat our chests. Our child had suffered severe pain at the hands of some very cruel people. These cruel men destroyed his beautiful face and left him disfigured by acid. I felt a deep sense of despair. I had failed my son. I prayed for God's forgiveness. I asked God to take care of my son for me. A police forensic team removed the body from the recreation park and took it to Jinnah Hospital in Lahore for post-mortem and they have advised the parents that it is suspected that Adan was sodomized. They returned the body to the family the same evening and a funeral was conducted the same night. George Mussey has now filed an application against the murderers of his son. Nishtar Colony police have arrested one suspect, a Muslim man who recently moved to the area with a friend some months ago. His accomplice has already fled the area and is a fugitive and an APB has been issued by police authorities across the country and a nationwide manhunt has begun. 
Several homes and locations have been raided by police in their attempts to arrest the remaining suspect. A British Asian Christian Association team attended the memorial service of Adan Masi held on March 14th. British Asian Christian Association has been asked by the family to provide a solicitor to prosecute the murder trial against the killers of their son. British Asian Christian Association said that they probably have to raise about $1,800 to afford a solicitor for this family. And if you are led to help, you can donate towards this cost. I have left a link in the description. Just keep in mind that it is very rare for the state to take a lead on murder or rape cases and that the victims or their families are required to find their own prosecutors. Moreover, British Asian Christian Association expects that this family will soon be threatened to drop the case or they will be coerced into accepting bribes via friends and family members of the two rapists and murderers. Due to Pakistan's distasteful Qisas and Diyat laws, these Sharia-based laws allow Muslims to escape punishment for heinous crimes by paying a bribe and securing the forgiveness of their crimes by paying money. Basically, it is paying blood money. George Massey and his wife Sonia are financially weak and cannot afford the cost of a solicitor themselves. Their home is rented, their earnings put food on their table, and they cannot afford uniforms, lunch money, or the travel costs for their children to go to school. Because of all this, the children are illiterate. British Asian Christian Association would like to get their younger children into school. To support them, we would need to raise regular donations of about $40 US per month per child. If you would like to contribute to this cost, please donate. Again, I will leave a link in the description. In Pakistan, Christians are seen as the worst of creatures. The Muslims believe that it is the Christians alone that should have cleaning jobs and that the Muslims are above cleaning and that their job should only be to supervise. The government of Pakistan actually advertises cleaning jobs in which only Christians can apply for or any other non-Muslims. The Christians of Pakistan have no opportunity to make their dreams a reality. In the West, regardless of religion, if one has dreams and they work hard, their dreams can be realized. Thank you everyone for listening. And I do pray that people listening can support this family financially. And please pray for this family that our Lord Jesus Christ mends their broken hearts. As always, please pray for the brothers and sisters in Christ, the Christians of Pakistan. Amen.